Hello, this is Annette Green with Graphic 45. Well, it's not that scary. It's just an altered birdhouse, but it's with an eerie tail from Graphic 45. And it's a wooden birdhouse from the craft store that I've altered with a lot of great Graphic 45 products. So let me show you how it all came together. I started by painting my wooden house with black acrylic paint and I used Graphic 45's and Eerie Tail double-sided cardstock flowers and the banners. I cut a piece of unsolved mystery paper at four and a quarter by 12 inches and I had to punch out my little circle there for my birdhouse to fit just right. And then the 12 inches didn't quite fit around so I had to cut another piece at four and a quarter by three and a half. For my dowel stand I cut off this top ball here and then um, after sanding that I went ahead and painted a base coat of orange acrylic. I measured my rooftop and I knew I was going to make some little wedges here to put the paper on there so I made a little template out of cardstock and then I traced that template 14 times onto this pretty grand illusion paper. Just traced it with pencil and then I used my X-Acto blade to go around and cut out the pieces. Now I did keep them in order as I was cutting them out because I wanted it to have a seamless look as it went around and to help keep track of things I numbered the backs of each piece and kept them in order. Then I inked each piece first with an orange ink. This is Rusty Hinge Distress Ink. Uh, kind of came in kind of far with that and then I followed up with just a touch of black soot distress ink on the, just the outer edges. I put aside the wedges for now and um, I'm working on getting my papers onto my birdhouse. You can see I'm burnishing it down well using a bone folder, smoothing it out with my hands. And um, once that was done, I started putting on the wedges and uh, basically kept them in order. I used a good strong glue stick and just worked them on one by one and just kind of kept burnishing them down well until I got them all on there. From some purple coordinations cardstock, I cut, I punched this um, fence here and I sanded it. <laughs> and it exposes a little bit of a nice core there to give it a distressed look. From one of the double sided cardstock flowers, I punched out the center with a one and a quarter inch circle punch. I inked the edges with black and then just to give it a little bit of dimension, um, because this is going to go around the opening of my birdhouse, I kind of curled and cupped those little petals around the flower using the handle of my piercing tool. Now going back to my dowel stand here, I mixed together some more of the acrylic paint and some crackle paste and painted that. And once that was dry, I went over it with some orange and then some black distress ink just to kind of accent the crackling in there. And just to dress it up in between the spaces here, um, I chose the enchantment paper, but I used the back side where these nice stripes are. And I cut long strips and then cut smaller pieces, about three inches or so, inked the edges with black soot, and then just adhered those right on there. And just as a nice little accent, I used some black tinsel. This is from Tim Holtz, and I put it in the opening of my birdhouse there. And then I grabbed a bunch of the flowers and layered them up and kind of cupped them and curled them and inked their edges to just get ready to um, add them as adornments to my house. Then to make some leaves, I also took one of the flowers, turned it over to the green side there, and then just cut the petals off and created some leaves. Then to give them more of a real look, I folded each little leaf in, in half there, kind of cupped them and curled them, inked the edges with black, and made a whole bunch, and then I'll just add them to my house. And then on top of my house, I started to add my flower clusters. And I just used some nice thick quick drying tacky glue and started layering them up there. And I had some die cut little flourishes cut out a black cardstock, so I just kind of randomly added those here and there. I ran those through my sticker maker because they're so fine and delicate. 
And I just kept adding and layering and um, more tacky glue and added in leaves to kind of finish it off here. From these two cut parts, I used this Movers and Shapers die to cut out this shape from uh, these papers. This girl here is from Fanciful Fables, and the little green guy here is from the You Bewitch Me paper. And I adhered both of those onto black cardstock and trimmed about an eighth of an inch around each. And then I mounted those to some green cardstock and trimmed that out again. And these will make nice little windows on the side of my birdhouse. This wooden plaque will serve as the base for my birdhouse, so I painted it with a coat of uh, black acrylic paint. Once that was dry, I cut these shapes from the Cricut, and those will get adhered right to my base. And that border fence that I cut earlier is now ready to go on. I slightly bent and curved this Graphic 45 metal label pull, and that's going to go on the front of my birdhouse, something like this. I got my husband to help me out, and he drilled some holes in the base and also into the actual wood dowel. Uh, I don't recommend doing this like he's doing it with his hand there, <laughs> but basically um, we're reinforcing the whole thing to make sure it's nice and solid. You put a screw through there from the base to the stick, and then to secure the top, he drilled out a hole, put in a little piece of dowel, and then we rested the top of the house on there. And I just added a little more of that black tinsel to dress it up down here at the base. And then to sort of adorn the top ledge of my house, I used all the little banners and pennant pieces from the pack. And I had to cut just a few more from some scrap to match just to make it all the way around. And I found this great little jewelry piece at Hobby Lobby with the spider and the web. So I'm going to attach that to the top of my house there. I grabbed this sheet of run and hide paper. It has a bunch of di different little characters. And I cut a few of them out, fussy cut them, put some foam tape on the back. And just for some added fun and dimension, I popped them on the front of my house there. Added some cut aparts and one more of the banners to dress it up. And then a little bit more black twine around that base. Just to kind of tie it all together and this Cricut cut of a big spider tops it off. Then I added a few more of the little banners from the pack. I inked the edges with black, gave them a little curl, and kind of layered those up on each other. And then as a final finishing touch, I added two of the Graphic 45 metal keys with some metal glue. And it's done! Mm -hmm.